China is cornered. It unleashed a pandemic and now the world is saying China must pay. The United States, China's biggest trading partner, has threatened to cut off ties. Australia pushed for an investigation into the outbreak. The world is asking questions that China does not like. So what does it do? Tries to distract the world, create multiple theatres of conflict, flex its power to frighten critics. China is asserting itself in the South China Sea. It is challenging American positions on the high seas. It is hitting back at Australia with tariffs and bans. And now China is needling India. It is creating tensions at the border, especially in Ladakh, a story that we've been tracking closely, reporting about since the beginning. Tonight, we bring you the complete picture, exactly what is happening in Ladakh. Why are tensions rising? What is the Chinese military up to here and how is India responding? First, to the ground situation. It is precarious in Ladakh. Reports say the Chinese military is increasing its troop presence. The PLA is sending a clear signal it will not back down just yet. Here's what we have learned. Two different reports say that the Chinese have bolstered their presence. The names of two areas keep coming up. The Galwan Valley and the Pangong So Lake. In the Galwan Valley, reports say that the Chinese have erected 100 tents. This happened in the last two weeks. Another report says that more than 5,000 Chinese soldiers have intruded into five points in Ladakh. These, I repeat, are reports. Four incursions are being reported along the Galwan River. That is part of the valley. The fifth incursion was reported near the Pangong Lake. So we have several reports confirming multiple transgressions from the Chinese side. What is India doing? Responding with aggressive patrolling, matching up to this Chinese build-up. This comes after reports of two incidents in Ladakh and Sikkim. On the 5th of May, Indian and Chinese soldiers had a clash. Both sides suffered injuries. Last week, we reported how Chinese choppers were spotted flying close to the border. Which brings us to the question, why is China doing this? And why now? Why provoke India at the border and that too in the middle of the pandemic? Is this retaliation for India's decision to support the probe resolution at the World Health Organization? Remember, India had backed the demand for an investigation. That's one of the explanations, the most obvious one you could say. While India's support to the West is a matter of concern for China, it cannot be the only reason for such military aggression. So what explains this? Infrastructure and accessibility. India is stepping up its border infrastructure. This allows quick mobilization. This also brings troops from both sides in closer proximity and increases chances of a flare-up. India's infrastructure development is not something that has gone down well with the PLA. So it is violating India's territorial integrity. For the moment, neither side is saying very much, but we know that for China, the issue of territory is a matter of nationalism. China has, mainly, has many unresolved territorial disputes in the neighbourhood. In fact, it repeatedly uses border issues to needle India. And it uses every opportunity to repeat its point, especially on maps, China's favourite activity. Look at this one. This is a map from Baidu, the Chinese tech giant. It shows parts of Jammu and Kashmir, Arunachal Pradesh as part of China. China wants to keep the border issue boiling to prevent the world from asking questions about the Wuhan virus. The Communist Party of China is facing its biggest test, a test of relevance, both on the international stage as well as at home. The people of China, however much censored, are also asking questions that their government does not want to answer. And here's something else that you should know. China's Communist Party has studied the fall of the Soviet Union very closely. It is the hidden fear of every Chinese regime to avoid the fate of the USSR. So China's rulers are doing what they know best, deflecting blame and responding to international rebuke with repeated and constant provocations through territorial violations.